I am Wigs with Steph and I love wigs. I have a dog, I have a family, I have a daughter, she's six months old and yeah, I just have a passion for wigs. It's nothing that I ever thought about doing. It's not like I woke up one day and I thought, hey, I'm going to go online, start a YouTube channel, start an Instagram channel and start talking about wigs. That's never what it was. It was just, well, I did wake up one day, but I was very pregnant. <laughs> I was pregnant with my daughter, Violet. A lot was gonna happen and I was kind of feeling like I was losing myself. And I should also mention, I was not out of the wig closet yet. I was very much in that closet and nobody in my life at all, except for my husband, of course, and some close family members knew that I wore wigs. And I didn't want to tell people at that time and before that point, like I'd been wearing wigs for years, but I didn't want to tell people because I don't always like talking about like my Graves disease and um, how it's affected my life because I felt like it just sounded very sad and I don't like people viewing me as like oh like I feel bad for her I feel sorry for her because genuinely like I do feel happy in my life and I feel very proud of like what I've overcome and I do feel as though I've overcome parts of my disease um, that really held me down before and so I didn't want to be viewed in that way and that's why I pretty much steered clear of any conversation like that. So I never brought up that I wore wigs. So I was sitting there one day and I was just thinking, I don't really have like anything going on in my life. I need something. What makes me happy? Well, wigs make me happy. That was literally like the only thing I had. And that might sound like really weird to say. And it's not in a sad way, like she only had wigs that made her happy. No, my husband made me happy, like I had a number of things, but what truly gave me confidence, what truly gave me my life back that no one knew about? Wigs. And it's like, I had this little secret. Wigs gave me so much, but no one knew. And so I was like, that should probably change. Like I have this big secret and it's helped me so much. Like think about all the other people in the world that maybe don't have the same disease that I have, but maybe it's alopecia, maybe, it, maybe they're fighting cancer, maybe they just want thicker hair, maybe wigs could just be a fun thing and they could change their hair. Like I have saved money wearing wigs and um, it's just been so fun and that's like a whole different thing. But I was thinking this could really help people. Why have I kept it a secret this long? Maybe it's time to open myself up more to the world. I just thought I should just get on there and talk about what I know because I felt as though I'd worn them for so long. I had some tricks up my sleeve at that point, like some skills that I had acquired after wearing them for lots of years that I was like, I should just share all of that. This is, it's time, it is time. So I was really feeling pumped up about that. I like said to Dan, like, I was thinking about this for a while. What should my name be? This is gonna be a fun thing. What should my name be? And then I was like, Wigs with Stuff. Like it just came to me, like Wigs with Stuff. That feels so much like me. It has my name in it. And yeah, it was about me feeling good too. Cause I needed that purpose, right? I needed something that made me feel good in my life. So that's what I did. I made my channel. On YouTube, I think I talked about Upstage by Raquel Welch and the color Shaded Biscuit, which is one of my favorite colors. And I just talked about the wig, tried on some glasses with it, did like a couple different styles, and I uploaded it. It was uploaded, and I think I got like two views. I was so excited. I helped two people. I was so stoked. And that's just kind of how it began for me. And from there, it just kept rolling along and um, kept releasing like more and more reviews. And each time I got a new comment, each time I got a new view, I was just so excited. I remember how it felt when I first got into wigs so many years ago when there wasn't too many YouTube videos. And I was just like really struggling because it's hard to find a wig sometimes. And it's hard to even wrap your mind around like 
hey, I'm gonna start wearing wigs. And yeah, my hair just kept thinning from my disease, kept getting worse. And then it was time to look into something else. And it was really tough finding a wig that not only felt like me, but where do you get them? Where, like, what is gonna look natural? I had no idea. Finally, I just, I kept plugging away. I started with ones that looked horrible on me, just terrible. And I just kept accumulating wigs. I just started developing, I guess, the new me. And my confidence just started growing with each new wig that looked more realistic. But even the first one I put on my head, that did not look realistic probably to every single person I walked by. It made me feel so much better because suddenly there was healthy hair on my head. Massive change. Dot's gonna cry. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what got me into wigs. The very first person I told about alternative hair, because that's what I started with, was Dan, my husband. But he wasn't my husband at the time, he was my boyfriend. And that was challenging because I thought, what if he doesn't like me after I tell him? Or what if, you know, going back to boyfriend, girlfriend stuff, first, you know, kiss, all that, like beginning stuff, what if he puts his hand up here and then he feels like a weft? or like he expected it to be my hair. So there were a couple moments, and this is what I learned and I can give advice because I experienced this. What I found was the very, very best way was to essentially bring it up when they compliment you. Because usually it happens if you're dating someone, they're gonna say something because they wanna get you to like them, right? So obviously at some point they're gonna say, oh, hey, you look really good tonight or when they take you out for lunch or dinner um, or did you just get your hair done? Especially if you're wearing wigs, you're likely changing it up. Hey, I like your hair tonight. Thank you. It's a wig. And they might just be like blown away at first. What do you mean it's a wig? Yeah, I wear wigs. I have 15 wigs. They're different colors. It's so much fun. I get to look different almost every day. You're with me today. Who are you gonna get tomorrow? You know, you can like say these things. And my advice is to make it fun. It doesn't have to be a sad thing. It doesn't have to be a scary thing. You don't have to have anxiety. Nothing has to like haunt you. And I wish I knew this. I wish I knew this sooner because like I said, it kind of did like hold me back a bit. But after I figured that out and went with it and really dived into that, there is nothing I couldn't wear. And I mean, it's been a roller coaster from there. Like Dan and I, we ended up getting married. Like we've been together for almost a decade at this point. So it's been a long time. But from the beginning to now, ever since like I expressed that and expressed that joy, he's been nothing but excited for me to continue. You know, wigs are something that I will always talk about now if someone brings it up or if somebody's struggling personally with their own hair and they outwardly tell me about that, I will bring it up. I will just kind of say it as like, you know, I can relate, I've struggled with that too. And hey, that's why I wear wigs. Typically when I respond like that, they're like, really I had, like, thank you for telling me, I had no idea you struggled with hair loss or still struggle with it. And I also had no idea you wear wigs. Wow, where did you get that wig? Maybe I should try one. YouTube was my big announcement to the world and that's how.